see. Welcome to Off the Wire, University of Miami social experiment and late night comedy, mixed with the natural college in maturity. Tonight's guest, magician and illusionist Gary Goodman. My next guest is a very special man. Let's give a magical OT dubs welcome to illusionist Gary Goodman. I am so glad you're here. I was so excited yes. about you coming. I mean, magic is a, a strong passion of mine. Really? It took me years to learn this one. <laughs> and you do that so well. That deserves some applause. Thank Come you. on, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> now, I, I, I've heard that you got a couple of tricks planned for us. You got a, a couple of uh, tricks here at the desk, but we're going to do yes. a bigger trick. The uh, one where I'm going to risk your life for everyone's entertainment pleasure. What? Yes. Um, well, they, they didn't. You didn't mention that to him at all. All right. Well, that's cool. That's it's cool. the finale. <laughs> they have plenty of time to replace me, just in all case right. I die. We'll have fun. But you know what I wanted to try. First, Ben, is a little mind reading. A little Let's mind reading. Now, now I came Steel in here earlier, here. and I, I just shook hands with Ben earlier, and that was it. There was a lot of stuff going on. Uh, there was no prearrangement involved, so I want you just to, to really focus on what I'm saying. I want you to pretend like I'm giving you a deck of cards. Just pretend, all right? All right. Now, what I want you to do is mix the cards. Mix them up, Ben. Mix them up. But, Ben, it's a lot easier if you take them out of the box first. So let me take the box. Funny guy here. Funny guy. <laughs> Part of the business. Now, I'll take the cards, Ben. I'll take These the cards. These are all jokers. Oh, thank you. All right. <laughs> then the joke's on me. All right, watch. I'm going to mix them up a little bit. Ben, just pick a card. Just really seriously, just pick a card. No, it, all right. Mm -mm. This is going to be a very long mind Got reading it. experiment. Actually, it took two, Ben. Put one back. <laughs> That's right. All right. Now, look at your card. I'm serious. Look at your card. No, really. I, and I think I of totally the card in your mind. In your mind. In fact, I want you to show it to everybody in the studio, in the TV audience. I won't look. I've seen this before. Go ahead. Show everybody the card. Now, Ben, seriously, I want you to think of the card. Are you thinking of the card? Right here. Ace of spades. Wrong. No, no. I was just saying ace of spades. It's a bad <laughs> habit. You must think of your card, Ben. Now, Ben. Let me just ask you, are you thinking of an ace? No. Good, because Process I know... Process of elimination well, no. will eventually get you to my card, though. <laughs> well, the reason I ask that is because after the show, I, I don't want people saying everybody must think of an ace. So no aces, no jokers. You really have a card in your mind. Put it face down. I won't look. Face down, right here. And now, no more pretend. This is reality. We're going to take the imaginary cards, and we're going to place them inside the box. Now, listen. It sounds like a deck of cards. It feels like a deck of cards. It is a deck of cards. Big moment, but Ben. But does it smell like a deck of cards? Actually, it does, Ben. Thank you for bringing that up, but I've never tried that before, but it does. Now, <laughs> Ben, what I want you to do on the count of three is I want you to name the card you're thinking, and if this works, it'll be the only card turned over in the box. Watch this. One, two, three, what's your card? Five of diamonds. No, it isn't. <laughs> you're not even close. Uh, did, did you really think of the five of diamonds? I swear. Then I have to be fair and honest. I'm going to do this very slowly and very dramatically. Now, again, Ben and I did not set this up. He says the five of diamonds. I'm going to slowly go through the cards. I'm holding them here so the camera and everyone at home can see that there is one card turned over. Now, are we talking mind reading if that one card turned over matches the card that Ben thought of the five of diamonds? <laughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? Wow. 